All right, welcome back. It's been a while since we've had a video about YouTube, perhaps a couple months, which is better than normal for them. <laughs> so there's been a lot of talk over the past month or so about the coming YouTube purge due to some changes in the YouTube terms of service and policies that are about to go into effect that many have interpreted that they would now have the ability to delete content from your channel or even your entire channel at a moment's notice at their sole discretion. So a lot of people are freaking out because YouTube does not have the best history of communication with its creators, which in turn have led to some significant trust issues with the platform. So I didn't want to have to make this video. I've been avoiding making videos about YouTube as much as possible, but more than a few people have expressed their concern with the future of this channel that I felt that I needed to, so that you know what the plan is on the off chance that something does happen to this channel, which I'm not expecting anything to happen, by the way. This channel has been very fortunate with the past changes that YouTube has made. We lost fan funding, but we've gotten Patreon. Most of the videos are still monetized, only a handful have taken a hit, where other people's entire channels have been decimated. The worst that's happened to us is not being in the recommended videos, and some of our listings, which cutting our numbers in half does hurt, but we can make it work. We carry on. However, on the off chance that something does happen, I wanted to have a plan so you know where to rendezvous. And the short of that plan is, we would meet up over at bitshoot.com. Now, I already have an account over at Bitshoot. I do not yet have a channel with any content on it. However, that will change very soon. I had already planned on uploading over at BitChute this coming year. How fast that timetable advances is going to largely depend on what happens over at YouTube. If very little to nothing happens as I expect it to, then I would begin with older videos first, uploaded at a quicker pace, until we were caught up current. But if the purge does happen and we get caught up with it, then I would just start with the current videos and perhaps make a separate channel for the older videos which I may do anyway, I'm not sure yet. Your feedback on that would be appreciated. And of course, I'm still on Twitter and Facebook. It's more important now than ever that you follow me at these places so that we can keep in touch just for these type of situations. But as for a video site alternative, BitChute seems to be, as of this video, the best contender. Others may crop up, but for now, BitChute looks like the way to go. Again, I'm not expecting anything drastic to happen immediately. This is all a matter of just being prepared. But I have said that I felt that everything that YouTube has done from the first adpocalypse on has been planned to incrementally convert YouTube from a predominantly creator-based site into a predominantly corporate legacy media slash Hollywood site. YouTube desperately wants to be the next Netflix or Hulu. And every month or two, they make another change and step towards that goal. And this is just another one. They've lost their original identity. It reminds me a lot of one of my cats. Just because he thinks he's a big dog doesn't make him a dog. He's still a cat. So he's better off sticking with making cat videos. <laughs> the upper level management at YouTube wants YouTube to be something other than what it really is. And if it takes it all the way, I personally feel that it will be the death of the site. There are not many businesses that can survive moving away from its original purpose and intent. Some do, most do not. It's always better to do one thing really well than to try to do everything mediocre. Which is what Google does. Google is really good at search engines and tech. And terrible at about everything else. Remember, they already had one video service that they ran into the ground. They had Google Video. It failed. They had their own social media platform. It failed. So when they bought and acquired YouTube, why are we suddenly so surprised when it seems like they want to nosedive it right into the ground? They have a history of not managing their subsidiaries very well. But it is what it is. Now, it would take some real talent to cause YouTube to fail, but we've seen it before with MySpace. And those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. If you don't give your customers what they want, your business will fail. It's pretty simple. 
And if people wanted another mainstream media and Hollywood outlet, YouTube would never have been the hit that it was. YouTube's identity is in its name. It's YouTube. Broadcast yourself, not the mainstream media conglomerates. So YouTube has basically been having an identity crisis, which is a real shame because we all want YouTube to succeed. We all love using YouTube. We know who YouTube is. And we don't even mind when legacy media uploads its little clips. We like having the best of both worlds. But that's not good enough for them because they're used to crushing competition. And their competition in this case is the YouTube creator base. And I hope that I'm wrong. But I've always felt that this was their play from the get-go. They're just not doing it all at once. They're doing it slowly. Just like cooking the frog in the pot. So that you hopefully don't notice and wonder why you went from cat videos and vlogs to late night video clips and a paid subscription TV service. That's my take on it, but I sincerely hope that that's not the case. If it is, then we all know where to meet up. And to that end, I want to announce that I finally, after years of trying, have acquired the mindandmagic.com domain. Last month, the previous owner and I, despite him having been quite difficult in the past, reached an agreement and he transferred the domain to me free of charge. So I do want to take a moment to thank him for that. Now, there are currently no plans to develop a website for it at this time. Right now, it's just enough to know that I have it. But again, whatever happens at YouTube will certainly affect any kind of development timetable for it. I mention it because I want you to know that there are extra backup contingencies. And that's about it. There's not really much more that I can add. Are people completely exaggerating and overblowing the situation? Or are people's fears justified? I guess we'll find out soon enough. I mean, every couple months the sky is falling for somebody over at YouTube, having whole genres be affected. With Adpocalypse, they said your videos needed to be advertiser-friendly. And now with Kappa, your videos can't be meant for children, lest you lose a lot of the functionality of your channel, including monetization. And now with the most recent TOS changes, they're saying that they can remove content and even your channel itself if they deem it not to be commercially viable. So I suppose it all depends on what they mean by commercially viable. And commercially viable for who? Us or them? Because my channel is commercially viable to me. Over 90% of my program sales come from YouTube. And my videos do earn ad revenue. It may not be a lot, but it's something. So, once again, they've left their definitions and intentions very ambiguous. We've just had these lessons on perspective, and from my perspective, my channel is commercially viable. But Lord only knows what they actually mean by that. They're not very good at communicating, and they haven't explained it. Perhaps me sending in all that paperwork proving that I'm a legal business will help with that, but perhaps not. Perhaps other people are right, and it's just going to be used as another justification to knock people off the platform. I hope not, but in any case, we will be ready for whatever happens. And I will let you know when I get the BitChute channel up and running. Of course, you'll want to follow me at Twitter at Freighter Xavier and Facebook at Facebook.com slash Mind and Magic, just in case. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where I'm going to give my peeps a shout out over there. They're the best. So come on over and join the Inner Circle action. But if Patreon doesn't do it for you, then we have Subscribestar too. All the links are down in the description, including one to our new Mind & Magic limited edition shirts over at Teespring. The old one's ending and this one's taking its place, so be sure to get it while you can. This is Freighter Xavier and I will see you again real soon. Take care. <laughs>